Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial, and, and today's review will be the BMF series. Let's get into it. So this is a long time coming. Long time coming. Uh, anybody that's been connected to hip hop heard about the BMF. Big Meech and his brother T, um, Demetrius and Terry uh, Fennery, and uh, they ran a multi-state drug and money laundering organization. And so, like, uh, you just would just hear the name, but you never had like a face to it during those times. And then, uh, finally, after documentaries and interviews and it was always talk that somebody was going to either do a movie or a show everybody felt finally 50 cent got a hold of it about four or five years ago something like that and in comes him getting the green light to put this out so it's a long time coming and other people tried it they didn't pull it off and now it took uh, 50 Cent, somebody from Southside, Queens, New York, to get it done. So I know a lot of people probably feel no type of way, probably felt some type of way, but uh, I think that 50, this ain't going to be no fluke series. They really going to pit uh, maximum effort to pit out a good product and make it a good series. So let's just go over some of the cast. Um, Big Meech's son is playing him as the younger version of him. So that's dope. And I think, uh, you know, his, his dad is making, uh, our dad is sitting somewhere proud. So, um, You have um, Tasha Smith, who plays is executive producer, of course, and of course, Fifty Cent, and uh, Ann Clements. But you had Zane. I thought that guy looked familiar. You had Zane, little Zane Copeland. He's playing one of the. Um, he's one of the, his, uh, his name is Saki. He plays one of the, the crew and the BMF crew. They the Fifty uh, Street Boys right now. Eric Kofi plays as Lamar. He's the jealous boyfriend who used to run the streets and everything. Now um, got out of jail. Everybody took over his streets. Um, they got Cash Doll. She's playing as um, Big Meech girl and her fine self playing it. Uh, that's the first time I've seen her in a role. You got uh, Russell. Hornsby plays as Charles Flannery, the dad. So basically, it just goes over how it starts off their kids growing up, both brothers, and they got a little sister. And it just shows the struggle, family, barely no food, barely making ends meet. It shows a scene. Got a, uh, they're trying to learn how to um, light the stove. Typical hood stuff. Out of milk. Meech ate milk, ate cereal first. His leftover milk had a passage to uh, Terry. And it just shows you the struggle. So it found me to meet a job. And he pretty much, he know that's not the way. That's just the that's the long way of getting to wherever you're trying to get to in life. They need real results and real results fast. So they instantly turn to the game and plays Wood Harris. And uh, his name is Pat. So he's like the OG that's going to teach him the game. Meek didn't want to bring Terry in at first, but then, you know, he that's his little brother. So he brought them in, and so then they you could tell they're getting it together. So a fast forward speeds it up. So by now they're probably uh, a little older. 
maybe uh, between the ages of 16 to 18, 16, 19. Now they're getting money. And the parents know what Meech do. They don't really think Terry is part of it. They think he's in the school. And they pretty much think it ain't no hope for Meech. Ain't no way to reach him, so. But their hope is Terry. He's going to be the one that goes to school and, you know, be make something of himself in their light. With their vision of making something of their light is. And meanwhile, they're running uh, the drug game. They got rival crews. They the 50 Street Boys. They got the other crews that they're up against. And right now... There's no confrontation, and Meech is not looking for confrontation. He pretty much, y'all get money over here, we get money over here, we gonna stay out of each other's way. So he's not looking for no war or anything like that. So Terry has pretty much found a way to get a gun at this meet where they met with another crew. Terry pulls the gun out, and pretty much when he pulls the gun out, Meech was telling him, chill. And so the crew that they was talking with, you know, pretty much, they didn't have no gun enough for him, but they backed down. And Meech was pretty much like, y'all take they, this block. So what they did, they figured out, they go to a whole nother block and a whole nother area and get it popping in that area. So they mixed their drugs, stepped on it a little bit and let it spread. And they got popping, so they start getting more money Shows Lamar, he get out of jail. He shows up, cash dog crib. And Meech is there. He's sitting low watching Meech. Now, when Meech comes out of the house, he basically swipes Meech. Basically tell him leave his girl alone. So that's the first flag right there. And, you know, he on some, that's my girl type time. So you know that's going to be a problem in that situation. Meanwhile, Terry's in school, and he got a rival with this, one of the kids in school. And Meech and them, they want to really branch out. They want to branch out and do their own thing. Instead of being bosses, they want to be kings. So they're telling Pat, their move, Pat is telling them, y'all need to slow down. Y'all trying to move too much product. This ain't a 40-yard dash. Y'all need to move slow and under the radar. Meech, they like, nah, they got the younger spirit. They're not looking for the long haul of it right now. They're looking at, we need this now. We're trying to struggle. We're tired of getting people to tell us what to do. Meanwhile, Terry got a kid on the way. And they already picked Meech out of, kicked Meech out of the crib. And so they have, Terry's baby mom has the baby. And so, you, when they act up, Pat's uh, birthday party, you see a lot of faces is there. You see Lala Anthony, she's playing her role. She plays as one of the um, wives of one of the OG crews. Um, one of the OG crews, their wife of them. But you can see she's looking at Terry. So you know that's going to be an issue coming up later on. Meanwhile, Terry runs into the guy from school and they have some words and then Meech see him and Meech roll up Pacey protecting his brother and so after they had a baby come home from the um, hospital it shows Terry um, Meech telling, calling Terry up told him yo let's make this move his baby mom gave him the cosign and as they leaving as he's leaving he gets into the car He's not looking, and somebody came out of nowhere and shot him and threw him out the car and pulled off with the car. So that's how the episode ended. So this is, I guess, is going to be the start of Meech going on a rampage where he's no longer just trying to be peaceful. This is the war part. So it's so far a good episode. This is going to be explosive. Because this is something that everybody been waiting for for a long time. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Tell me what you think about it so far. Till next time.